everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Today I'll be accompanied by Eloisa Mejia, an international business student from Medellin, Antioquia. Hello Eloisa, how are you today? Hello everyone, I'm so happy to be here. That's great. Remember Eloisa, the rules of the game, and you have three lifelines. 50-50, call a friend, and plus one. Okay, great. I hope you know a little bit about Russia in the international context, because that's going to be today's topic. Before we go to the question section, I'm going to give you a brief introduction on the country. Russia is a country located in Eurasia and is the biggest country in the world by surface area. Russia is a federation of 86 republics, provinces, territories and districts, all controlled by the government in Moscow, which is the capital city. The head of state is a president elected by the people, which is currently Vladimir Putin. The economy is based on a vast supply of natural resources, including oil, coal, iron ore, gold and aluminum. Alright, now let's move on to the question section. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Alright. For $2,000, here goes question number one. How is the relationship between Russia and Ukraine in the present? A. They are renegotiating the territory of Crimea. B. There is a land tension between the two countries. C. Ukraine is going to finally join the Eurasian Economic Union. Or D. Russia wants to invade Ukraine. Uh, well, I think that the answer is B. There is a lot of tension between the two countries. And is this your final answer? Yeah, it is. The answer is B. There is a lack of tension between the two countries. Congratulations. I'll take you so much. The Ukraine and Russian relationship is complicated since 1991, when Ukraine's independence from Russia took place. Basically, Ukraine has been a highly divided country. Half of the Ukrainians are pro-Russia, meaning they want to continue to have close ties with their former homeland, and the other half are pro-Europe, which means they want to become closer to the EU and break away from Russian influence. This has created tensions between the two countries. Furthermore, these tensions became more serious in 2014 with the fall of the pro-Russia president Viktor Yanukovych and when Russia invaded Crimea and added it to the Russian territory. In 2017, their relationship is still very hard and tense. Alright, now for $5,000, question number two. The president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, has made some particularly contradictory moves on the international scene. Which of these moves has not been carried out by the president? A. He has been determined to develop an aggressive and die-hard activity towards a European concert. B. He hasn't demonstrated support to stability of Latin America region. C. Russia has been responsible for destabilizing Eastern Europe. Or D. He has the purpose of creating a dissuasive exercise in favor of separatist movement. Hmm. That is hard. I think that I'm going to use one of my lifelines. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, call a friend. All right, let's call a friend. Hello everyone, my name is Laura. Um, Russia's scenario held by Putin has been immersed in such contradiction that has created a high political cost. I think that the answer is B, um, because he has given diverse demonstrations for supporting the stability of the Latin American region. Furthermore, he has given total approval and collaboration to the peace conversations led by the government of Colombia. He has participated in different meetings between the BRICS, UNASR and CELAC, held in Brazil. And in few words, he has offered options to expand the framework for cooperation and interaction with Latin American regions. So my answer um, will be B. Okay, thank you, Laura. All right, which is going to be your final answer? And my final answer will be B. All right, the correct answer is B. He hasn't demonstrated support to the stability of the Latin American region. Oh, that's great. You're doing great, Eloisa. Now for $10,000, let's move on to the third question. Crimea was invaded by Russia, and now Syria is being held by Russia. What is the interest of Russia in those states? A. The oil located in these states. B. The maritime ports. C. Extending its territory. Or D. All of the above. Uh, I will say that the answer is all of the above. Okay, so D. All of the above. Yeah. Eloisa, this answer is correct. Oh, great. I'm so excited. Congratulations. Thank you very much. 
Russia is in a power struggle with the United States. It wants to show itself as a hegemon. To acquire this power, it needs strategic resources such as oil, maritime ports, and a larger grip on its neighboring countries. Therefore, Russia acts in favor of Syria and looks to get a hold on Ukraine because of how this benefits its goals. Okay, Luisa, we're on to our fourth question. Remember, if you win this question, you get $20,000 and they're insured for the rest of the game. If you lose another question, you will get these $20,000. Okay, great. All right. Now, the relationship between the new U.S. President Trump and Russia's President Putin can currently be described by the following. A. Since Trump's possession, the relationship has improved. B. U.S. dominates the scene. C. There is no relationship between the two presidents. And D. A hard relationship with ups and downs, most times with tension between the two countries. Mm, I'm not sure. I would like to ask my plus one in this question. And your plus one is Manuela Mejia, right? Yes, she is. All right. Hello everyone, I think the correct answer is D. Because as we all know, Russia is the successor state of the Soviet Union. So the relationship between these two countries has been stressful through time. Nowadays, with Trump's presidency, uh, the tension has increased due to the rumors that say uh, Russia helped uh, Trump's uh, election campaign and the investigation made by the FBI of the two presidents. Also, uh, the relationship deteriorates because of the uh, bombing by the U.S. Uh, in Assyrian airbase uh, housing Russian troops. Uh, Putin has expressed his support many times to the Syria's president Bashar al-Assad. Thank you, Manuela. So, uh, I think that the answer is the high relationship with ups and downs, most times of the all right, and the correct answer is, in fact, D, a hard relationship with ups and downs, mostly times of tension between the two countries. Now for $5,000, on to our fifth question. What is Russia's position in the Security Council action on use of chemical weapons in the Syrian conflict? Is it A, it has vetoed all the council texts on the Syrian conflict, B, it has vetoed in favor of helping Syria. C, the proposed measure was drafted by France, the UK, and Russia. Or D, Russia is not part of the UN Security Council. Uh, well, I guess that the uh, correct answer is A, because I have read that in the last five years, uh, Russia has been on all eight uh, measures of the Security Council about Syria, and that has created a lot of uncertainty and tensions in the Security Council. And that answer is actually correct, Eloisa. Very informed. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. You're on fire, Eloisa. Now for our sixth question for $75,000. How would the current relationship between NATO and Russia be described? A. They are currently going through negotiations to strengthen their relationship. B. There is no existing relationship between Russia and NATO. C. Negotiations between Russia and NATO are paused. Or D. There is a tense relationship between the two actors at the moment. Hmm, hard question. But I think that the answer is C. Negotiations between Russia and NATO are paused. Eloisa, I'm afraid that this answer is incorrect. The correct answer would be D. There is a tense relationship between the two actors at the moment. I can't believe it. I am so oh, sorry. Oh my god, I swear that I was D. Currently, NATO is against the actions taken by Russia regarding the conflict in Syria, and although negotiations aren't paused, they have expressed in conformity with the way Russia supports the Syrian government. All right, Eloisa, thank you so much for participating in our game. Here's your check for $20,000. Oh my God, thank you so much. I was so happy to participate in this show. No, thank you. And I hope you join us on the next episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire.